Welcome back to the Hollywood News Channel, where we update you with the latest news of the day. Hello everyone and welcome back. The First Lady is often mocked and brutally savaged online by critics and across varying publications. As a former model, most people would expect Melania to be highly regarded by those in the fashion industry. However, when former editor-in-chief of Vogue, Anna Wintour, was repeatedly asked questions about the photos at an event by journalists, her response was unexpected. Author Doug Witt made the revelation in his upcoming book, Inside Trump's White House, in a chapter dedicated to Melania. He said, Sometimes the mean-spirited snub of Melania Trump bordered on schoolgirl immaturity. At a 2017 event, Anna Wintour, the editor-in-chief of Vogue, ignored repeated questions about the beautiful and fashionable First Lady Melania Trump and insisted Pierce that Michelle Obama was the best ambassador this country could possibly have in many ways, obviously way beyond fashion. Ms. Wintour refused to talk about Melania's fashion sense during a podcast but instead chose to talk about former photos Michelle. However, despite the harsh move, Melania has remained a big fan of Michelle, according to Miss Red. He said in his book, Melania has been impressed with Mrs. Obama. After their first meeting, President Trump had tweeted, Melania liked Mrs. O a lot. Months later, when the Trumps showed up at the White House for Inauguration Day, Melania had brought Mrs. Obama a present, a present wrapped in a Tiffany blue box. Ms. Obama held her fire, refusing to criticize Mr. Trump by not hesitating to attack her husband. It comes as Melania allegedly broke away from her husband as the First Lady retired from her comment to banning the use of flavored e-cigarettes among children, amid speculation suggesting the U.S. leader is reconsidering his opposition to the gimmick. Melania renewed her commitment to prevent children from using e-cigarettes after advisors to Donald Trump on Sunday suggested the U.S. President is considering backing off from plans to ban the device. The First Lady of the United States, Flotus, had previously voiced her concern over the widespread use of e-cigarettes among U.S. youngsters. White House Press Secretary Stephanie Grisham said on Monday, though her initiative be best, Ms. Trump has put her priority on the health and safety of children. She does not believe e-cigarettes or any nicotine products should be marketed or available to children. U.S. Health Secretary Alex claimed in September over 8 million American adults regularly use e-cigarettes of vaping devices, with another 5 million teens also believed to use similar gimmicks. After the Center for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, issued a health advisory urging smokers to stop using e-cigarettes, Melania Trump took to Twitter to voice her concern over the growing use of such devices among the younger population. She wrote, I'm deeply concerned about the growing epidemic of e-cigarette use in our children. We need to do all we can to protect the public from tobacco-related disease and death and prevent e-cigarettes from becoming an on-ramp to nicotine condition for a generation of youth. U.S. President Donald Trump himself warned of a vaping epidemic after several cases of pneumonia-like illness were linked to the use of vaping devices. Speaking to the press in September, the U.S. President said, We have a problem in our country, it's a new problem and it's called vaping, especially vaping as it pertains to innocent children. Melania Trump followed in the footsteps of the previous floaters in choosing to raise awareness on a cause close to her heart, choosing to launch the Be Best campaign to advocate against cyberbullying and the use of drugs among children. Thank you so much for joining us and see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you for watching the Hollywood News. Don't forget to like and share the updates to the latest information of the day.